Greetings, I am the snarky apologist, and you are hardwired into the Interocitor Report. The views expressed in the Interocitor Report are solely those of the creator, the aforementioned creator specifically being the snarky apologist and not God. The host of the Interocitor Report reserves for himself the right of free speech and expression of such is deemed an inalienable right from God under the First Amendment, but at no time will employ it by wildly running and shouting fire in a crowded theater, unless of course it's an incredibly stupid movie. Any characters or persons portrayed in these videos without knowledge are highly encouraged to get an education. Any reproductions or reduplications of this material without the express written consent of the originators is forcefully encouraged. So, help me God. Jehovah's Witnesses. Church representatives revealed that more than 1,000 members have been identified as child sexual abusers since 1950. The commission learned that of those hundreds of cases, none, none was reported to police. An elder testified that it's church practice not to report sexual abuse, but rather to adopt a scriptural response to allegations. Emma Hannigan with Australia's SBS has been following the hearing. She joins us now live from Sydney. So, Emma, this is a wide-ranging royal commission. It started with allegations of sexual, child sexual abuse rather, into the Catholic Church, and now it's investigating the JWs, Jehovah Witnesses. The evidence so far has been particularly damning. It certainly has, Join. I mean, the Royal Commission heard that, as you said, 1950, 1,006 alleged abusers have been identified to the Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, that was 1,006 people, not 1,006 cases, so we don't know how many cases were, but none of these were reported to authorities. Instead, what the church would do is they would investigate the claims themselves. This often involved bringing the abuser and their victims together to discuss their claims of abuse. A victim, identified only as BCB, was groomed and sexually abused by Bill Neal, a respected elder, from the age of 15. When the abuse finally emerged, she was summoned to a meeting of elder men that included her abuser. Bill Neal, who's now dead, admitted the abuse. I found the experience of reporting my abuse to a room full of men, including the man who had abused me, very distressing. She was also asked not to discuss the abuse with anyone else out of respect for her abuser and his family. Thinking back, I now see that I was being asked to respect the man who had done those things to me, but nobody was offering me any respect or proper support. The Royal Commission heard that of the 1,006 alleged abusers identified to the Jehovah's Witnesses since 1950, not one single person had been reported to police. This evidence was borne out by the testimony of one of the church elders, who himself had investigated a case of abuse. And what about telling other authorities? Are you aware of your obligations if someone tells you of a serious allegation of sexual assault? Well, we don't report it to the police. I think we encourage them to do that, but we give them the assistance to do that if they need that. Church elders could now face criminal charges for concealing the abuse. The Commission also heard that the church only believed victims if the alleged abuser confessed or there were two witnesses. The requirement that there be two or more witnesses has prevented at least 125 allegations of child sexual abuse from proceeding to a judicial committee. The hearing into the Jehovah's Witnesses is expected to continue for two weeks. The Commission heard from another elder today who also investigated BCB's case. It was told that when he was informed the woman was considering bringing her story to the Royal Commission, he asked what that would accomplish other than dragging Jehovah's name through the mud. Now, he has admitted that this wasn't perhaps the most sympathetic approach to take. And, and, and but also today, the Commission has been dealing with the actual response uh, by uh, church elders when young women alleged that they were sexually abused by members of the church. Well, church elder today, Joe Bellow, said that the church recommends a biblical response to the trauma caused by sexual abuse. The Commission heard from two abuse survivors who felt so unsupported by the church that they had both attempted suicide. Um, now, they say that they've never been offered any compensation, they were never offered any counselling, and the church themselves had say, has said that perhaps this is something that they need to consider. But they certainly aren't uh, jumping to commit to anything at the moment.